Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode, we are going to show you how to install the Tusk brand of heated seats. Now, each package is for one seat, so if you have two seats, obviously, you've got to buy two of these, and it's not that difficult. Uh, basic tools that you'll need is a flathead screwdriver for pulling out staples, needle nose, torques for your seat removal. Uh, stapler, they do say that you should have a pneumatic and a hammer just in case, and that's for stubborn staples. So first what you want to do is remove the cushion from the frame. The driver's side and the passenger side may be different. Uh, one has an adjustable um, uh, distance and the other one does not. But either way, once you get them apart, you're going to try to carefully remove the staples. There are a lot of them, so just be patient. Once you peel back, you're going to do this to the back of the seats. Um, you're going to try to uh, make sure that Velcro doesn't pull up too much of the fasteners, but you can always use a little glue to attach those. You want to make sure your seats are dry and clean. If they are dry, you can do this ahead of time and let them you know, just dry out a little bit. So once you get the whole wiring harness apart, you're just going to use one little piece and these quick connects are exactly what you're going to disconnect uh, under the seats. So some installers may have you cut the pads, just make them fit. You shouldn't have to fold or kink them, they should fit okay. At least in our Razor Trail they did. And you want to tuck that up in front so you get a little bit of heating action up on the front of the seats underneath your legs. And you don't want to have the big bulky uh, wiring in the back uh, too close to your bottom, but go ahead and make it fit properly where you would sit. And then you're going to use this um, metallic uh, reflective tape uh, to hold them in there. Now you may have to just move them around a little bit and then you can get that Velcro tag that's going to hold the cover on. And uh, don't worry, you can always use a little heat glue or adhesive to keep those back down in there. So you're going to carefully pull the cover back on and make sure everything is nice and snug. You don't want it sliding around and you want it to pretty much uh, look nice and neat. You can tape the cable out of the way, just make sure you don't staple it. And again, a pneumatic stapler is definitely uh, a lot easier to use. We didn't have one handy, so we're using a regular staple and we're just tapping in the stubborn staples that don't go in all the way. You may have uh, the top of your seat may have some trim and you may have to just use uh, your finger to open that up to get those staples out and then there's more staples underneath that so just continue the process. And repeat for the top piece and the back of the seat um, and you'll notice that uh, as long as you tuck it in there well you can uh, have it looking uh, exactly at when you pulled it apart and again you can use some glue if you have to. Once you go ahead and put everything back to the frame just make sure that you have the wires snug somewhere and tucked out of the way so you're not going to poke them when you uh, go ahead and reattach your seat. We bought a separate switch panel to mount. We didn't want to drill into our console but you will have to route those wires up through the firewall and once you do it's easier to pull the fuse out and reattach that later to make it a little less wide. Uh, we uh, opted not to cut into our console but you will have to route the wires and once you do you can get it up to accessory ground and you're positive. Once you get it all hooked up you can go ahead uh, just make sure you don't attach anything through linkage or attach to a coolant line and then once you've attached everything make sure you're running the vehicle because each of these uh, seats will take a good amount of current. Let us know how you did with it and how do you like your heated seats and uh, please join us again for another episode and we'll see you out there on the trail. Thanks!